the devil is always in the details. And in the case of the property tax implementation in Trinidad and Tobago, the devil is in the, the mechanism that is being used to calculate the annual rental value of our properties. We don't know what it is, and it would appear that those who are doing it also not sure what they are doing. So last week I got, I received my devaluation for my property, and at the very least it is overvalued by about 33%, and could possibly be even more, because I have not actually put my property on the market. So this is not acceptable. It is not acceptable, and I do not know how it was calculated. You see, if the... Uh, several months ago, I think it might have been about November of last year, when we were all mandated to fill out a form and submit it for, for consideration or else we'd face this huge penalty. I, like many of you good citizens, filled out the form and submitted, submitted it. And my expectation was that having done that, someone would visit my home evaluator in order to be able to assess my property or at the very least some process would have been explained to me by which the government was going to um, evaluate my property instead i receive a notice in the mail indicating what the, the the tax is and more than that in that letter i i i have been informed that i must pay um, this by September 30th. Failure to do so means that I will immediately incur an additional amount on my valuation of 10%. And then if I continue to not pay this, I will then incur an interest rate of 15% per annum. This is prohibitive. M commercial banking rate is, is it's hovering around 7% and less. So, Minister of Finance, you know, why is it you are penalizing Joe Public? Most of the, the owners of homes, because property tax has been implemented on residential properties, not in, on industrial properties, most of us fall under the middle income um, category. And we're hard pressed. We have been facing, you know, the erosion of our pockets following COVID, following high inflation, removal of many things, reduction in gate, increase in the, in the price of gas. There's so many things that, are, that, have, that have hit us. That this kind of, um, of penalty is it's really harsh on the citizenry and that should be reconsidered. More than that, you have given me one month from receiving this valuation to query it. But then the Commission of Valuation has 12 months to respond to me. It isn't clear in the letter whether I must pay or face the, the two penalties immediately and then wait for the commissioner to do what he has to do. Although I did hear former MP and, and, and government minister Sir John Bachan on the radio indicate that we have to pay it. We must pay it by the deadline and then hope that the review will come in our favor. Where are people going to find this money, minister? And... You know, are they going to be paid interest on you holding their money if it comes back in their favor? And certainly we are all very grateful that you sought to address this problem by reducing the the rate that is being used from 3% to 2%. That is very welcome. But even with that reduction, Minister, if you have valued the rental, um, the rental value of my property higher than market rate, then I'm still paying more than I should be, even at the 2%. So please, Minister, this does not reflect well on the governance of this country. It doesn't, it doesn't send a signal that those who are making the decisions on our behalf are capable. In this day and age, 2023, we should be doing better. We have to be doing better. People cannot afford this kind of error, Minister. I believe that this entire property tax, you need to pull the entire thing back. You need to, to spend the time that is required and engage in proper and effective valuation and then indicate to us what we must pay. That is the only um, um, measure that I believe is available to you, not the stopgap measure that you have sought to do in the Parliament this week. I look forward to you doing the responsible thing.